Okay, so either you're thinking about stopping masturbating, or you're watching this video because you're thinking, wait a minute, there are benefits to the no fap. No fap meaning no masturbating. That is the uh, Reddit term that has been coined. That has been this big movement to not masturbate, and people have been seeing massive benefits for it. So I'm gonna go over some benefits for you today, and yes, this is something that I have tried in the past, and so I can give my personal account of, of what happened. And also, I'm gonna give you some tips on how you can stop watching porn. So there's some things out there that say that masturbation is actually good for you. You can uh, relieve stress, it can relax you, it's good for um, testicular cancer, supposedly. Again, I don't know how uh, much of a claim that is, but they say that there are some benefits to doing it. But there's, in my opinion, a much longer list of benefits for you not to be doing it. One is this, more focus, and I'm gonna kinda combine two here, more energy, okay? So what happens when you ejaculate? You lose some of your energy, right? It's like, you know what it's like, you're like, oh, okay, you're like more relaxed, maybe you're a little bit more tired, you're a little bit kind of out of it, right? You went through this whole experience. But if you don't do it, you're gonna find yourself with more energy and more focus. However, I must say, in the very beginning of you trying this out, you're gonna get a little bit of less focus. It's gonna be a little bit more difficult for you because you might be really horny all the time, okay? So for the first, let's say, two weeks, maybe to a month, I know that's a very long time, it might not be very beneficial feeling. You might feel like, hmm, I don't know, man, thinking about sex a lot, I already think about it, and now that I can't relieve myself, I'm thinking about it a lot more, every girl I see around me is turning more and more appealing to me because I haven't been able to relieve myself. So you kinda gotta get over that hump. That's what happened to me. I did it for about 60 uh, to 70 days, and in the beginning, it's really challenging because you know, your brain is going a little crazy, you're not used to this, but all of a sudden your body starts to get used to it and you can have more energy and more focus throughout the day and it doesn't become a distraction. That's the problem for a lot of guys, it is becomes a distraction. The fact that you feel like you have to do it. Some people feel like they have to do it multiple times per day and they become addicted to it and they become addicted to porn and then porn is the only thing that can get them off, so that's no good. Which kind of brings me to my next thing, right, is that you're only getting off to porn, and so what happens is it makes you way less sensitive during sex, okay? So what happens is you become so interested in porn, porn becomes the way that you get off that when you finally have sex or if you're in a relationship, it's harder to be able to get turned on with a woman because real sex is not porn sex, and there's probably a good chance that the girl you're with doesn't look like a porn star. Right? In many ways, that's probably a good thing. Uh, but either way, one of the benefits here is you become more sensitive during sex. You get more turned on when you're with a woman, and that is good. That means that that can cure, actually cure, erectile dysfunction. I believe that one of the biggest causes of erectile dysfunction is you not getting turned on by the person you're with because you feel like you have to be watching sensory overload porn that you can get you know, your hands on any second of the day and look at anything you want. So that's another benefit. Here's the number one benefit in my opinion. When you don't masturbate anymore, what happens is that you get more encouraged to go out and actually meet women. And that's what I always want for you. I want you to be going out and meeting women and approaching women. Of course, you still might be encouraged to do that anyways because even though you masturbate, you're still interested in having sex, but imagine the power you are going to have when you're like, oh my God, I haven't relieved myself. I really want to be with an actual woman, right? You're gonna have more desire, I promise. You'll have more desire to be with a real woman and it's going to push you to go out and do approaches. Okay, now a lot of guys have trouble with approaching, meeting women, talking to women, so you can always get your hands on my course called Hooked, which you can check out at getherhooked.com. So please, go check that out so you can learn the techniques to attract women in real life instead of, instead of having to uh, rely on absolutely nothing. So when you combine learning the techniques to meet and attract women with that energy 
that is going to push you to want to be with a woman in real life in tangible form, you're going to be unstoppable. But how do you quit porn? How do you let go of that? I mean, listen, we can go into a, probably an hour-long discussion on how you can quit porn and stop watching it, but let me give you the number one tip that not only have I used myself, but I have right on the internet and it seems to have worked for a lot of other guys besides myself. Here's what you do. There's gonna be a moment when you are very turned on and you want to masturbate, right? So what can you do in that moment? Well, you have options, right? It's like you can try to be mentally strong enough not to do it. That sometimes doesn't work. So what I urge you to do is go for a walk or do anything else that can distract you. What you need is a little window of distraction to get you over that hump. Usually what happens when you have the urge to touch yourself is that you're in this window and you just completely uh, succumb to it, right? So what you wanna do is do something else to avoid that window, get past that time frame where then the time has passed and you're not feeling as turned on as you were in that moment. Now, for some of you, maybe you do it right before you go to sleep. I would pick up a book and start reading, right? Do that, get sleepy, uh, walk around, pace around your apartment, your condo, wherever you live, whatever you need to do, do something. Don't just sit there and contemplate a way or reason with yourself to not do it. Try to figure out something that you can do, an activity in that moment to get past that window. Try this out. I urge you to try it out for 30 days. Every guy should try it out for 30 days, even a little bit longer just to get past that hump, right? Just to get past that part where you can finally get into the point where it's actually working for you. Try it out, see how it works for you. Report down below after you've done it and tell us some of the benefits that you've gotten. Don't forget, if you are in a no fat mode and you are trying to go out and meet women in real life, then check out Hooked at GetHerHooked.com to learn how to meet and attract women instead of having to rely on your phone or your computer. Check it out. I'll see you in the next video.